Welcome to FC Abdul. Let's go over this cross platform period tracking app called ThinkPad Pro. It's available in the iTunes App Store for 99 cents and in the uh, Android Market for 99. Not too much difference. Uh, the first thing is you could set a profile. This is the home page. Uh, I mean, you could set a photo. And you have your next period and then days until that uh, coming period. And uh, you have your um, partial days. So now go to the calendar mode right here. You have five tabs on the right hand side. We'll go to the calendar um, right hand side is calendar tab chart and then forum settings so let's go to calendar and we're going to add in a few uh, random dates in the past uh, let's say we're in february so let's go to january if this allows us okay january go one more december so we're going to start with the flow let's say for the first of the month uh, flow started let's say light flow and by default it's going to add three more days add three more days go to month view you will see that from first to fourth is automatically uh, filled in for you the 15 the bigger flower that's your uh, ovulation expectation and from 10 till the 16th is your fertility add that again that's an estimate so if you want to add a day let's say the fifth simply click on fifth fifth and then you know type the select i uh, select the type of flow uh, go back to month you will see that it's been generated what if you want to decrease the flow from the first till the third if you want to make a correction same thing go back to that day click on flow and select none thing on ios it's slightly different but it's still easy uh, to un unselect or deselect the flow go back to let's say the fourth again flow none so there you have it so now it's from one to third for december if you want to um, again go there and then uh, uh, put some different like mood or something uh, should be there uh, select that head back um, symptoms you know, have all these uh, predefined symptoms let's say uh, and add that whatever uh, you know it relates to you and you have more stuff fertility already today if you know these uh, what they are could uh, select that negative positive whatever you know anything that pertains to you and you have your weight and body temperature you could also enter let's say uh, just a random number temperature let's say something like that and you could say uh, type the note um we'll go back to month view you see you, you have all that icon right there you have the calendar or whatever it is uh, and you see the details right here now uh, we'll go back to month mode and then we'll add for january again it's expected that uh um it would be from here 29th of december your flow will restart but we're gonna Go back to December and manually enter. Let's say December 2nd, flow will start, medium flow, whatever. Add for two more days based on the previous because you had it for two extra days in uh, December, so it's, it's trying to add two days here as well. So just say yes. And then uh, another thing they uh, mention when you start up the app that if you're on the day 2nd to 5th, uh, 4th, don't click on 7th and uh, leave it like that let's say click light flow click no so there's a gap between four and seven so if you do this if there's a gap between these uh, flows then this app will think that this is one period and then that's another period and the day between the cycle has been only two days so make sure you add in or fill in these consecutive days otherwise the calculation and prediction will be completely wrong um, what I mean by that, let's go back to pre uh, profile. It'll say next period 126, fertile days. See, days period is late by 32 days. You know, we can because we made a mistake. So we'll fill in that uh, that day, the sixth that we missed. Whatever flow it was, whatever you picked, go to month view. So now all of that is here 1, 2, uh, 7. Um, so here it's expecting 
3rd of next month to be your flow. So I start the here, my flow go for four more days, yes, or five more days, and you know, now you know how to add and more stuff. Go back to February. Yeah, it's a bit kind of difficult to navigate from month to month. All right, so now profile page, uh, days until next period, is expected to be in the next eight days, partial days here. I really click on these things. Um, I'll go to calendar mode. So you have three views. You have day view, month view, and you have the list view. In the list view, whatever you write down, let's say you had a note and then the weight, temperature, all of that stuff. So say for the month of February, for the 8th, you had a weight of 153, temperature of, let's say, uh, 100 degrees or you know something of this tonight mode you had love um, and this stuff um, then you'll see all of that here um, shown up in the list view let's go to a chart um, so now in the chart since you only input for two days on 12 1 to 8 so it, it's, it's showing uh, 150 to 153 and then this would be a nice so it will be a, if you enter more more information then you'll have of course a, a wave like graph same thing as body temperature went up a degree and then you'd have a wave like, wave -like chart if you had more plots uh, let's quickly add one let's say for january 18 you had the weight of uh, 160 and then temperature of 101 and that's fever doesn't matter for experiment okay so it's not still not small because we don't have a lot of data yet but uh, if you put in more um, data this will look more prettier prettier let's go to forums uh, this is very interesting um, because you have uh, the ios users as well as the android users in this forum using this forum through this app you have all these uh types of posts that may relate to you we'll go to one of these forums um just to check it out so let's say about control and uh, 11 minutes ago you could see here and then 51 minutes ago that means it's a very very active um forum let's click on one of them Somebody has some problem, several people replied. Go back to forums again. Uh, trying to conceive. So you have thousands, hundreds of thousands of posts. And uh, you know, you could get the help of community um, and uh, other people uh, in your situation. So whether it's pregnancy or weight loss or support or nutrition, anything. So this is a very rich content and a powerful tool at your fingertips. And lastly, we're going to go to the settings.